It's time, it's time. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Adventures in Silvernell. This is a, a brand new thing we're doing, and it's called Summer Song's Guide to Silvernell. I'm here with my good friend, uh, yep, Michael Jackson. How you doing, MJ? Oh, oh, hey, I'm doing really well. I'm excited, and um, I love that Summer Song's getting a, getting a show. He needed a shout out. He, hey, you know... We do what we can. <laughs> All right, so for everybody at home, this is what you can expect on this stream. So we're going to create full chaos on here. I'm going to be game mastering, obviously, but MJ is going to play three different characters. So uh, make sure you come back on uh, Mondays and check this out. Also, Wednesday nights are our uh, Dragon Tooth Academy. Come check that out. And who knows, there might be some crossovers. You ready to get this started, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is. <clears throat> All right. I feel like I have to burp. Oh, God. <laughs> Did we pass this? <laughs> I feel like uh, I just had a lot of pizza. Okay. Also, <laughs> oh, yeah. This one is rated R, probably rated M. So if you're easily offended. A higher or lower? I don't. I think. I think M is like more intense. It stands for mature. Anyways. All right. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. In the year 100 AGW, a group of now infamous adventurers bravely fought and destroyed the evil dragon god Asgrath. One of these most ferocious adventurers, Sir Irva Summersong, an elf from the Feywild, was chosen to ascend to godhood and become the new god of time. Summersong, seer of all, now views upon the multitudinous events of Silvernell, both in this timeline and the infinite timelines that run parallel but shall never meet, vowing to never interfere but keep watch and halt lesser gods in their tracks from merging what should never merge. But viewing the infinite of time has its consequences, and now Summer Song, above it all, has gone batshit crazy. <laughs> As he now looks down on the floating landmass in space that is Silvernell, he humorously jests with his friend Bruntoro, the god of death. Wouldn't it be funny, Bruntoro, if I just messed things up a little? You swore you would never interfere, Summer Song. Bruntoro, when did you come in? We must allow the humanoids to live, and most importantly, die on their own path. No, I'm feeling spicy. I say we diddle with the timeline, shake it up a bit. But that will alter the future in a magnificent way. I know, I can see it. It looks fine. I'll just take a little group of adventurers and take them through time. The humanoids do not understand time as you do, Summer Song. That will surely scramble their brains and souls. Ah, but you underestimate the humanoids' temper, Bruntoro. No, it's Summer Song. Have we met? This is killing me! That's on brand! Fine. Then who on Silvernell is strong enough to be catapulted through time? Ah, yes. I pick them we zoom in to the asmar plains into the hot day to this bar in b2 the music is hopping the drinks are flowing they go by the name the dirty three they are the strongest of will let's break it killing the will of the strongest now you're talking my language we zoom in and please introduce Lip the slip, absidy, and ink. what is it? Ew a person. Ew a person. <laughs> Take it away. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with Lip the slip. Lip the slip is um, a dwarf. Um, he is about four or five. Um, he is a husky guy, pale skin, uh, red hair. Um, he's an on brand redhead, and he carries. Always double fisting, two mugs. Sometimes he'll carry them in one hand. They are, uh, he wears black armor with pink um, highlight in it, and he has a pink rose gold um, brass cups. He's like monogrammed his cups he always has with him. Um, and he is absolutely trashed at all times. That's why they call him <laughs> Lift the Slip. 
Uh, he speaks with a little bit of a drawl. He doesn't even know what's going on all the time. But he's always done the party, and he loves his friends. He's always going to be a ride or die. Um, he is running the... He's a paladin with the homebrew class that um, Scott has approved that I have made for this game. That is the Oath of Friendship. Um, so this guy is all about um, putting his life on the line for his friends no matter what. Uh, then we have Absidy, who is Absidy FG of House of G. Um, he is a the of royal um and from the he's a, of the trade he's a very snobby upbeat but with a good heart he's just his privilege is so high from everyone else's he has so much money and but he's like he loves people who are different so he he's gathered lip to slip and ill person to be his like best friends so he's like oh, i want to be with him and he gets him in the most trouble because he doesn't know how to talk to people because he has no charisma but he loves to talk all the time um and so he is uh that snobby friend who kind of is like the foreign exchange student who comes in um, and is is that kind of chaos. And then polar opposite of all of them is you know, a person who is a six foot plus shard mind. Um, she is uh, purple skinned. Uh, let me make sure she has white hair. I'm pretty sure. Let me just look at my picture real quick. My references. Yep. White hair and a long braid going down her back. She wears a black and red, uh, almost leather jacket, but it's not. And she has a rose gold brass like bralette armor on, carries a, two swords in her hands. Uh, she looks so stern, so very butch and manly, <laughs> and she kind of stands in the corner leaning up against the bar, and she uh, holds a drink. Um, and she's standing there. I'll start with her since I ended with her. Okay. Uh, she's kind of standing around, uh, just kind of like looking around, and um, this is a party for them because they are going off on um, their big adventure to the Feywild, which is... Uh, uh, Absidy's, like, thing he's doing. His parents have sponsored this trip, and his two best friends are going with him, so they're gonna go on this trek across country to the Feywild, and so this is their big going-away party. And she's just not super into being around people. Uh, as a shard mind, you know, people aren't the most fond of her because she's connected to the Living Gate. She's gonna raise Cthulhu. She knows. She gets it. She doesn't want to talk about it anymore, but everyone else does. Um, and so she's kind of at the bar, she's got this beer, and she's kind of chugging it, and I think there's probably a guy next to her who's giving her that, you know, you know, you know this girl? And she's kind of giving him the side <laughs> eye, and she, sharp minds can, are, are these magical telepathic creatures, and she jumps in his head, and she goes, you want to stop talking about me? And she starts to drink her beer and stares at him. Uh, uh this guy beside her that's not, um, Lip. Yeah, not lip. Oh lip yeah, is, lips in the lips in the crowd, full on like. He's, yeah, he's energy. He's high. so this is a big do big dude who's got like this like black coat and a top hat and this big black mustache. Obviously, a well to do makes a lot of money in B two. Big bulky guy turns with you in, uh, in his head and says, "You you think you could get in my head, you shardy? I should find who owns you and kick you out." Oh, you think you can get somebody who owns me? And she pulls back her, her jacket to reveal her breastplate at the house of G. You're at my party. You're in my house. Bartender walks over. It's a tabaxi. He's very tall and lanky. He's got a big scar down his eye. Is there a problem over here? Yeah. This guy's uh, talking shit about shardies. Listen here, if the shardy here doesn't belong to anybody and has their own life, then leave him the fuck alone or get out of my bar. She kind of looks at the mustache guy. He takes his moral defeat and grabs his drink and goes over to another table. Puh, spits on the ground. Yeah. Get out of here. I don't want to have to... Oh. She kind of like grits her teeth and goes back to her beer. You hear some singing over at the piano, -da 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 -da, as everyone's kind of dancing around. Lip the slip, lip the slip is for sure given about the. Uh, he doesn't know the words to the song that he's getting everyone to cheer. No one else knows the words. Like all those <laughs> awkward singing, like he's like, eh, and I was like yeah, and he is giving you the full-on drunken man. He's got his beers out. He's like, wrapped around people's legs. He's not that tall. Legs around 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 the guy, arm around the girl's hip, and he's drinking and he's happy, uh, and he's chatting with this uh this this girl and he's just looking at her and he's like hey, you know i've gone on an adventure this week this, well i guess tomorrow for the rest of my life I may never come back isn't that kind of wild 
uh, as the piano player is singing, he's got an old guy with a big twisty white mustra- uh, uh, mustache. Is like, uh, are you going on an adventure? Where are you going to? Oh, oh, we're going to the wild, uh, the free Freon, uh, Fey Wilds, Fey Born Freon, Freon Fey Wilds. Oh, the Quiet Highlands. I, my great uncle used to call it Born uh, Freon. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Quiet Highlands. That's the call it now. It was one of those names. I knew I'd get there eventually. They all, they're all the same. It's yeah. a dangerous trek from here to Quiet Highlands. That's quite an adventure. No, that's why I'm drinking. I gotta stay <laughs> ready, fueled up for an adventure, right? <laughs> that's right. And no, picks his glass to clink your glass and stops playing the piano. Yeah. Everybody turns. Hey, my bad. <laughs> Clinking <laughs> drinks, and he's like, "Yeah." Uh, and then there's Absidy over uh, in the corner, and he's like, "I oh, thank you all for coming to my party. Oh, my house of G is loves to give all to all the people." And he starts to hand out gold pieces. He's like, "Oh, we love to see you all. Hey! We love you all. Oh, my people, my people. Oh! We'll be missing all of you. I'm so sad to have to leave you all, and I know you'll miss me in my high fashions." He stands there, and he's like. Like, uh, hot pink and, and, uh, cotton blue, like, suit, and he's, like, he's got on, and he's, like, giving this, like, audacious, like, troll <laughs> speech, just about being the best, and he's, like, oh, you're all gonna miss me when I leave, and I just know it so much, and I'm sorry for you. Oh. Way above the ceiling, through the clouds, through the space and atmosphere, to the otherworldly atmosphere of gods, Bruntoro says, them? Yeah! Them! Strongest of will! This giant fucking hand comes out of nowhere, reaches down, nobody can see it on the material plane, and just grabs them, and poof! Before they know it, they are no longer standing in a tavern. But instead, they are staring, or they are standing, in the dirt. You look around you, trees... I think one of you maybe recognize this. This is this is the forest near B2. Seems to be some sort of farmland. It looks like the gate was open. Maybe you wandered in, but all you really know is poof. You are now in this area. Uh, lip is like something has changed. <laughs> it's quieter. It's definitely it's definitely quieter. And Absidy's like, um, um, what just happened? Why are we? Kind of looks around. He would be the one who would know the most about this area. He's the the druid. Uh, can I make some sort of check? Uh, what, what are you or looking? For? Just trying I to get the. Kind of, yeah. Oh yeah. Roll, roll a uh, roll a nature check. See if you can recognize it by the land. A nature check. Okay. I said he's the best at this, and he has a smooth plus zero to nature. But <laughs> he an, he's an animal person, and he's a fae person. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Okay. He rolled a thirteen. Uh yeah. So you can tell by the like constant autumn leaf color of the trees around that this is uh kind of like a halfway point between here and garnack uh garnack being like the basically the next town over so you're already halfway to the next town oh, it seems to be made our way i didn't plan to leave this early so this is uncomfortable uh are they aware any time has passed or they feel like they were like in the bar and then they were outside yeah, so just same time like literally the sec a second pass to them. Uh, and, uh, it was stands there like on guard, looking around, and she's gonna make a perception check to see if there's anyone around watching, looking. Sure. Creepy. Um, that's gonna be a. Nope, a nine. A nine. Yep, you don't see anybody, but you hear, "Hey, who are you?" Uh. They are, they all look over. Uh, who are they looking at? Let's see. Is it this 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 one right here? <laughs> uh, from over the ledge, uh, you see this little uh, dwarven boy, right here, peeking over. He's waving. Hey. Excuse me. Um. Hello, Absidy FG from House of G. Nice to meet you. Pleasures all yours, of course. Um. <laughs> where? Did you know how we got here? Did you see anything before we arrived? Hmm. Papa must have left the gate door open again. Please close the gate door behind you if you're here to visit. Who are you talking to? 
Ah, oh, some strangers, Papa. What did I tell you about talking to like that? And behind him, uh, from these little fields, comes this dwarf guy with big red braided beard and mustache. Ba basically the same height as his son. Hey, you think you can just walk on him a lot like that? Uh, really? It's like, yeah. Uh, sorry, so we didn't really walk here. We just kind of appeared and I'm not really sure how we got here. So we're asking your son if anything happened. Also, hello, App City House of G. Blood. I just gave this whole spiel. Pledges all fours, <laughs> of course, of course. Hi. Why, you just appeared here like your magic, your wizards? Um, well, I do dabble in the arcane arts, as actually all of us do, but no, we are not wizards. If we don't like to study, we're just naturally talented, of course. Ha! Posh. Oh. We don't know how we got here, though. Oh, oh all right, well, my name is Lagan Duggins. This is my son, Charlie. Hey, I'm Charlie Duggins. Oh, it's very nice to meet you. But well, if you got magical means, perhaps you're in the right place. We sure could use some magical help. Um, what sort of magical help? Well, you see... Oh, what about Mama? Oh, that's right. How rude of me to be introducing myself and talking to you without introducing in my wife. My wife is Dora Duggins. She's inside making mushy pie. How about you come inside and we can talk it over, and we have a pretty penny to give you if you can do this one. Uh, sure, I mean, I nothing else to do, I suppose, but one on journey, all. And he kind of looks back, and the other two are like, he was shrugs, and Lip is like, in his, he still has those two brass glass glasses, and he's just drinking them, and he's like, eh, right, whatever, okay, sure. <laughs> and he kind of grabs them along, and he like, gets through them, he's like, he's a jolly one with them, and they're like, you know, they walk along. It all was right. stern, and... They get down off that cliff, which is kind of like a little like a little farm they got up there, walks down, kind of pets one of the horses, kind of keeps them back, and walks over to the front door of this house, and uh, he go goes on inside as the son stays outside, being like, Come on in! We're about to have some din, din Of course! I would love to have some din, din. <laughs> And he kind of like... And then he uh, kind of walks in. Uh, the old person kind of just like shrugs and, and heads in, lips smooth. He's just in there. All right. As you walk inside, it's a it's a pretty quaint home. Um, you know, it's not too shabby. Uh, it's very homely. There's this uh, dwarven lady uh, cooking at the a very nice like little kitchen area. She's just punching the shit out of a pie. Oh, hi, you guys. Uh, kind of, she sounds exactly like her husband. Um, he tells her some magical adventurers he just found. It's here to save all their problems. And she says, great, I'll I'll divvy it up. Uh, and he tells you guys just to make yourself comfortable. And if there's anything you need uh, to let them know, dinner will be done soon. But he wants to hear your story, how you got here. Well... We were hoping that you could tell us we actually have no idea. We just simply arrived here. We were at a party. We were going on an adventure tomorrow. And it seems we started it, um, unacceptedly early. So, hmm. that's the story. Um, but we will soon be adding to the story. It's not over yet. Only just beginning. So don't you worry. Uh, the little Charlie from the table. My story's just adventuring, too. I got accepted into a hero academy. That's right. My boy got accepted into a hero academy. They'll train him at Vile Kingdom. <laughs> Makes a father proud. <laughs> uh, I hope it's a particularly long program as, uh, you know, I hope things go well for him. Of course, of course. We I got our own home training. We did not attend a, um, a public institution, if you will. Ah, well, yes. Oh, Charlie will be gone for good. We hand him off to the Vile Kingdom, and one day he shall return a man. Yeah. Is that a, is that a, is that a one for one? Like he's just gonna come back a man? I sure yeah. hope so. All right. Well, well, that sounds like a grand experience, then, Charlie. I hope you have a great time adventuring, and you fight lots of monsters, and um, don't <gasps> die. Oh, it's hard yes. to say, but definitely you should hear. Speaking of, we've had a little problem on the Duggins farm. Honey, no problem. would you like to tell them? She stops mashing. She walks up. A beast 
most ferocious comes out random times and fucks with me horses and fucks with me cows fucks with the animals how i don't know but he just keeps taking my shit away yes one day my wife went out to take a piss and she got fucked with <laughs> died on mashed her up and she pulls up her shirt and she's missing one of her protrusions and he says oh, <laughs> puts his shirt down on me <laughs> she says yes but i fought him off i'll put him right in the gizzard but he promised to come back but there was something about it a cry from deep within the monster's soul perhaps you could search around the farm and see if you can find it and if you find it kick its blooming ass Lily, um, you said the, the animals were being um, disturbed by the presence, correct? Specifically fucked with. Yes, can I, can I see, see the animals who were fucked with? I'd like to speak with them. Yes, would you like to see them outside now? Oh, sure, absolutely. That sounds grand. Outside, he's going to take you to this little area. He's going to tell you about this natural little spring that occurs in this land, which is why they built their home here. This kind of little horseshoe of, of river, this oasis this water that comes up from the ground, is going to in a, it's like a green little oasis pasture right there in between some big rocks. And he's just going to indicate some of his cows and his baby calves and his horses. And says, this is his pride and his joy. And says, these are the animals right here. Well, can you talk to animals? Uh, yes, I can. They can understand my words. Um, hello, um, the horses. Uh, hello, uh, Absidy House of G. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all yours, of course. Please come this way. This way from the horseshoe. Have questions for you. Mmm, roll a, uh, actually, they're interested. They don't have a lot of people talking to them. They're all gonna turn. So, uh, you know, a horse is gonna come over trottingly and be like, huh? The other ones are kind of suspicious and look around. Hmm. Uh, and this one, is, and this is uh, because I'm a circle of the shepherds. This is beast speech, so I can decipher and understand the noises and motions they make to turn into in, to turn oh. that into recognizable phrases and, and phrases and words for information. Fantastic. So Sorry. Boom. But yeah. All right. Well, then I will say from some of their motions, uh, the one coming over to you has kind of just lived the best life. He's so happy and free. It doesn't seem nothing has bothered him. But there's one kind of at a tree that's just like refuses to move over. Just kind of looks. <clears throat> Mm. Seems really fucked with. Yeah. You would say? Yeah, precisely. I'll talk to the happy one, then the sad one. Okay. This one right here is a horse comes off of. This is my Danny boy. Oh, hello, Danny boy. How are you doing? You look like you're having an absolutely wonderful time. I'm having true. the best time. I eat grass and poop it out. <laughs> awesome. They tell me some sort of creature's been coming and fucking with you. Is that information true? I haven't seen a creature. There was a squirrel the other day while I was taking a tinkle. But nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, he says he hasn't been fucked with. Is that... Mr. Duggins, is this horse... Been, which, which horse is specifically been fucked with? Was it all of them? Oh, Danny Boy's been sick for a while. Kind of in the stable there. Perhaps Danny Boy hasn't been fucked with the most. You probably would have talked to... Rebecca. Bum, 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 over the tree, this bright white horse over here. <laughs> the one that was staring at you all funky. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk over to Rebecca. Okay. As you walk closer to Rebecca, recoils near the tree. Uh, Rebecca is your name, correct? Uh, oh, because we're Irish there. Um, are, are you all right, dear? You seem a little uneasy. You're not gonna mess with me, are you? Oh no, I'm here to stop the thing that has been messing with you. I'm just looking for some information on it. If you can oh. help me out. Oh, you're gonna try to stop it? Well, good luck. There's no stopping it. Tentacles, black as night, slipping around like an octopus on drugs. And then it come to on the land, or did it come through the, the sky or something? Did it crawl onto you? One night it came out of the water. Another night, it came from the rocks. Last night, it sliced and diced and ran into the tower. Did it come out of the tower? No, it came out of... The calf! 
<laughs> you turn and there's just a baby cat. There's like. Magnetic this or did it, did it birth the demon? I don't know. I was scared me blooming daylights out of me, it did. Does it only happen at night? No. The last one happened 40 minutes ago. Also, no. I know how to tell time as a horse. That's a very important skill to have, so I applaud you, Rebecca. Thank you. Uh, well, I guess we should stick around to see if there's going to be a, a, if there's another attack of sorts. Uh, do you know a safe place you could go, perhaps? You're so far away from everyone, it seems closer to other things, you know? Oh, there's, there's many places to hide. That tree, that tree, that tree, that tree, oh, that tree. That is very true. That is absolutely correct information. You can hide behind all those trees, and I'm sorry for misguiding your judgment. Uh, and he kind of turns, and he looks at uh, Iwa and Lip, and he's like, um, there seems to be some sort of tentacled beast that is uh, roaming through the woods and coming out of random things. I'm not sure if it's a ghost or an aberration, but it's not really nice. And it's doing some nefarious deeds um, and tantalizing these horses, but not seeming to kill any of them, which is peculiar. So I wonder what it wants from these horses. Oh, but more importantly, how to kill it, because I don't really care what it wants. Um, hmm. But also, it's been random, so I think we're going to stick around for an attack. So everyone, sit tight. Find a good spot. And... Hold. Perfect. Nick. As the time starts to pass, the horses introduce a game called Clippy Clobby. They start... They start prancing around in what seems to be just a walking fashion, like Clydesdale Clippy Cloppy. Oh, they play Clippy Cloppy for hours, Clippy Cloppy. Uh, as they start dancing, um, uh, Mr. Duggins goes back inside, uh, but little Charlie just like sits on top of a rock, uh, climbs up and just watches Clippy Cloppy as his favorite game. But after some time... <gasps> Charlie stands up. I seen it. I seen it. Make a perception check. <laughs> Can we all look? I got a 19. Oh, oh I rolled for Charlie. <laughs> I already seen it. <laughs> I got a bad 20. Oh. All right. So. The, I see him. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Shut um, up, child. The <laughs> education <laughs> as the sun is starting to set with this orangey yellow sky you see the door on this tower way over here eek, and shut uh i'm gonna say uh i'm gonna send iwa to go check it out so she's gonna take a full-on cutting action and action to bonus action and action dash to just hop over here real quick full-on sprint it's okay you're not in combat she can just run yeah just so you know how fast it is, Scott. Really oh, fast, like, that actually is really fast. She's like, <laughs> and she's All right. a big stone woman. Like she's six foot, also very silent for her stone. Roll size. an insight check. Oh my god. Insight. Oh, just throwing dice everywhere. Okay, so that's an at one. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> the top of the it. tower kaboom blows up uh, upward as this giant uh black goo monster <laughs> appears, appears uh, it's fucking massive oh, you just you just enhanced it oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's not, it's not that bad just appears out of the top. The tower is 40 feet high as it looks down at you. <laughs> Roll initiative. Dun, 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 Yeah, it definitely sounds more gross than scary. Okay, so... Apsity got a 12. Okay, Apsity, 12. He got a 12 as well, so what's your dexterity score? Not the modifier, the score. Uh, that is a. <laughs> Sixty. Is fourteen. Fourteen. All right, you definitely go first. Magical. All right. Um, lip got an eighteen. Okay. And uh, uh, Iwa got a four. Four for 
Ewa, and Charlie's gonna join in, and he got a 18 as well. What's Lip's dexterity score? Okay, back Charlie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably higher than Charlie's. It's a 10. <laughs> Oh, you are. You go first. <laughs> oh, I was like, it might not be because all right, he's got all this armor and he's not that fast. This guy. So combat will go: Lip, Charlie, Absidy, Monster, Ewa, Ewa. Ewa. Okay. Lip's first, and he's so far away in a melee character. He's gonna have to use his time just to run. Yeah. Da, da, that's da, da. Really what's gonna happen? Da, 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 oh, I open League instead of clicking the map. <laughs> <laughs> And Tonight's sponsor I is a League of Legends. I need to fix my camera. I'm not center. Also, love. I love that Absidy is from FG, so it's A B C D E F G. <laughs> yeah, yes it is. All right, lip just lip just runs. <laughs> dun 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 dun. All right, Charlie's gonna do the same thing. Full dash, actually, because he's not that fast. <laughs> um, so it'll be. Ten, You're supposed to be near 15, them. 20, 25, 30. Charlie's running too. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Absidy. Um, hmm. Does our druid have some ranged attacks? How far is DJ away? Also, just to let everyone know at home, this monster is a very difficult level monster so if this survives and the stream continues if he dies then we <laughs> we will also continue if this works out yes. we'll be back oh so i just want to uh, say from the sky summer songs like oh i can't wait uh absidy runs up reaches into his pouch uh pulls out um three strip rocks in his hand oh. and kind of whispers something to them and starts to roll them in his hand and they start to glow with oh. magical energy as he action dashes, bonus action, um, cast magic stone and has three magic rocks in his hand and that's all he does. Oh my golly. Oh, okay. that is shoot fire. Did you see that? Oh, I tried to give it effect, but it didn't work on my on my side. <laughs> so I said, ooh, I shot a fire blast in my hand. It won't show it on mine, damn it. All right, roll your attack. Dun, oh, no. oh, I can't make I, It's just the, it's about, I can't make the attack yet. Oh, okay. So it was, yeah, because my action was used to dash. So I just have it for my next turn. All right, the monster's it's turn right. is going to, so it's 40 feet. Okay, so he is going to... <laughs> I'm going to do it every time. He's going to crawl down the side of the tower uh, <laughs> uh, towards Ewa and bu -bu 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 Ew, uh, Ew. make uh, two uh, tentacle attacks. You, uh, so <gasps> these two tentacles are going to fly forward and grab her on both sides. Where are, um, where are those rolls, though? The roll really was a, one was above a 20. I will say that. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, so you're going to have to make uh, a strength saving throw, and if it fails, then you'll have to do it again while I roll your damage. Uh-oh. Oh, that was only supposed to be one. Oh, no, it was two. An eight. Uh, <laughs> nine bludgeoning damage. And is she medium? Yes. Size? She is now uh, grappled. And at the beginning... Uh, yeah, she is grappled. And at the beginning of her turn next, she'll take two necrotic damage. All right, that is the monster's turn. It is now Iwa, her turn. If I disengage, can I break a gap grapple, or do I have to make an opposing check? <laughs> uh, opposing check. But, Why are you it? but then, uh, um, but yeah. Okay, so can I? And it, I, I really get into this kind of situation. So, it's a, what am I? What kind of check can I make? Is the strength or dex check? Uh, what are the options? Strength saving throw. Bum, bum, ba, na, bum, ba, 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 ba. I like how I could have easily put music over top of this, but I decided <laughs> to sing it all. 
Dun, no, dun, it's gotten dun, worse. It's two. Oh, she stays the same. This is gonna get fucked up. Lips turn. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. He's still running, girl. Come on, you drunk. He's got get these small legs. Get these small legs. Dun, dun, He'll be there eventually. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Charlie's turn. Uh, wait for me. 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> it's only got 15 feet movement speed. All it's right. Absidy. Uh, Absidy is going to move. Here. Then. Uh. What does this actually do? On hit. What is it? Okay. Rolling it. He's going to chuck one of these magic stones. 60 foot range. So I'm good. A nat 20. Oh! oh, oh and the, Yeah! And the new Silver Nail rule that we established last episode of Dragon Tooth is that you'll roll two damage dice, but the first damage dice is the maximum. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. Crazy. So that's going to be so it's a D6 plus my. I just need my. So D6 plus three, so it's gonna be that's a nine. Just mean nine automatically. Yep. And then, ooh, nine plus five plus three. Uh, nine plus eight. It's got two pants. Nine plus 17. eight, seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Absidy runs up and goes. God, that's and nothing to all his scoff might. at. He just chucks this rock and uh, it just ding, right into the swirls thing and does seventeen points of uh, magical bludgeoning damage. Hell yeah. The... Actually, it's not the end of his turn. Uh oh. Then he's going to. Uh, what will this crazy uh, bastard do? He is going to do. He's going to sing to the birds. Uh, he's going to. Actually, he's going <laughs> to get really aggressive. He's going to, like, I need you to hustle. And he is going to bonus action call upon his spirit bond and summon the spirit totem of the bear. <gasps> um, which is. Uh... Do you need a bear? Um, it, it, I just need a radius effect. It's oh, okay. Not, it's not gonna, it can't move. Um, it's a thirty foot radius. I'm gonna put it right on Iwa because she's getting her ass clapped right now. Okay. Um, and she gets five temporary, or she gets eight temporary hit points. Um, has advantage on strength and strength checks, strength checks and saving throws, and it lasts for a minute. Gotcha. She thinks she needs some help. Uh, so he throws Ooh. it at her, and he's. Dunsies. Fantastic. It is the monster's turn. Uh, Alright, so he is going to... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, he is going to... Take uh, her off the ground, Yua, and uh, throw her 15 feet into these boxes. They're going to shatter... She is going to take uh, five points of bludgeoning damage and roll a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone. That is a 23. Okay, so slams into the box. Her her feet. Yeah. She full bodies that. She's on her feet, slides back. <laughs> Looks like the rock just got hit. You know, that's that's her in this movie. Look <laughs> around to find out. The monster screams. It's Yua's turn. Um. Yua. Let's see. Bum 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 bum. She is going to. And I'm gonna put stuff all over the ground. She's running back into it. She don't like being hit, so she's gonna say, "Fuck around and find out, bitch." Um, and she is going to get handsy. Uh oh. Uh, she's gonna make. She's gonna swing her short sword as her action, bonus action. She's gonna swing her scimitar. Oh wait, what's um, her what's her range? Cause he is he went he went down the thing, but he's still ten feet away. Cause oh, he's no. got a long range with his tentacles. Oh. Uh, okay. That's rude. Then she's not gonna run up to him. <laughs> okay, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, yeah, no, not 
too bad though. Um, she is going to bonus action. She's gonna she's gonna stand there. Bonus action, dodge, and then she's gonna reach her hand out. Energy shoots through her hand, and she's gonna cast Chill Touch. Oh! Arcane, old girl's arcane trickster, and so she is going to try to hit him. Uh, oh no, it's only a eleven to hit. Ha <laughs> Ice fact, goes she, flying past. Chill this. this. All attack melee uh, attacks. I have disadvantage. Okay. For this turn. Bum, 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 bum. Gun. Also, uh, she does take two oh, yeah. necrotic damage. All right, Lip. Thank you. One day Lip will arrive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Drunk as a skunk. <laughs> dun, oh, yeah, dun, and now dun, if it's Timmy in the air, he really can't do anything because he's too short. Oh, lost. Um, <laughs> he's going to... <laughs> He's going to run over to Iwa, who looks like she's getting ready to fight. Looks at her and he's like, I think we're ready to do a thing, so let's do it. Flaps her back and yes. hands with her for seven hit points. Oh, nice. The heal. Yeah. And then he... This is action. And then that's all he does. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um... It's Charlie's turn, but he's still running. Ah, 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 ah. He's almost there. Charlie will get here eventually. We love him. Absidy. Um, Absidy is going to... Right, Absidy is going to throw another rock. Going so well for him. Uh, that is a <laughs> uh, uh, twenty-three to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits Owie Wowie on the rocky. And that does um, nine points of damage. Flings another rock. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Um, I hate that it's in the air. So it's it's on this building. Thing. Yeah, it's like it's on this the side tower. of the tower, ten feet above the ground. Side of the tower, ten feet above the ground. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Mike Williams. And me having nothing that can attack it. Um, he is going to. <laughs> He's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna look out at it. He got. Oh, he did already. He's gonna look out. Oh, I guess he he really can't do any more attacks. Okay, that's it. No bonus action to attack. That's it. Okay, he's done. Okay, it's monster's turn. The monster is going to bash the side of the tower and just it's going to spew off all of this uh broken wood. The rest of beep 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 from the side right here, making all of this a uh difficult terrain and just like slowly get down into the middle of that difficult terrain and reach 10 feet out towards the drunken lip, the slip, and make uh, two attacks with his tentacles. The first attack shoots out like a cannon, uh, but uh, the slip, 18. oh yeah, shoots right past him, oh, almost knocks the beer out of his hand as the second tentacle goes flying past, and he knocks it back with the glass, totally avoiding both tentacles. <laughs> he's full drunk just while he's like, whoa, <laughs> oh, oh. It's Iwa's turn. Uh, perfect. So now it's on the ground. Uh, yes, it is on the ground. It is 10 feet from you guys. Perfect. Okay, so... Uh, oh, let me look at the right character. But sheet. you are in the difficult terrain. If you go back, you're out of it. But to go out of it instead of 5 feet would be 10 because it's difficult terrain. But we don't want to stop hanging out with our best friend. Why would you when he's so beautiful? <laughs> Lip the slip. Okay. I had to read some wording. I think. Oh, you're fine. You're playing three characters. <laughs> no, you're okay. okay. So, uh, who's trying to? <laughs> it it lip is Ewa's and then Lip. Oh, perfect. Okay. So Ewa doesn't want to get close yet because, um, actually, fuck around and find out. He's going to try to get flanking with this guy and she's gonna take her movement to oh wait okay she's in this 
I forgot this dude just told me that it's difficult terrain. Okay, great. So she is going to... Oh, it's just out of range. Because she can bonus action dash, thin move, that'd get her the full 30, but she'd be stuck inside of it. Right? If I got to here... Oh, you can't see where I'm clicking. Yeah. If I got to here with 30 feet... Is this, like, is this the kind of creature that is, is a full mass, or can I take up some of his space? If I uh, if I he's got a there. massy center, but you can run, like, through some of the goo. Like, you'd be able to run that way, yeah. So if you've got 60 feet of movement, yeah, you could do that 30, because that would yeah, be 60. She will, yeah, she will take that full motion to just try to get through him so she can get... So she can set up lip for, for the combo. Some, some flanking? Um, yeah, she's going to run straight through him. She's like, fuck you, bitch! All right, slip the glip. Uh, and then Lip Dingers, uh, he's gonna look at it, he knows he's gotta do a thing that he ain't done nothing yet. Uh, he runs up on it, <clears throat> he's got his two, uh, beers in his hand, uh, and he's gonna swing it around, um, and he's gonna hit it, he's gonna swing at it, see if it hits Both it. with advantage for flanking. He's, wait, his weapons are his mugs? <laughs> Yeah, normally he connects him with a chain and it's a flail, so he's like swinging him and, and this stuff, but he didn't connect him this time because he was, wasn't expecting a fight. He was just having a party. <laughs> and he brought a shield, so he's okay. Um, he also has a great club on him as well. Fantastic. Um, that's nice and pink. Okay, anyway, sorry. Rolling. The house of G colors are blue and pink, so it makes sense. Oh, no, not super high. Um, 15? Uh, 15 hits. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, Dean plus three. Uh, eight points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, Lip comes around and bam, whacks him with this mug. And as a, some of the beer comes out, he hits him and he goes, ah, and catches it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and that's all he does. And he's also standing in that in that aura of the bo uh, of the bear, so he has um, advantage on strength. Uh, Saving throws as well. Perfect. Strength checks and saving throws for both of those two. Okay. Um, it's Charlie's turn. Uh, Come on, Charlie. He's going to take 15, 30 to get over here. And uh, yeah, he had to dash because it's only 15 minutes. So he's right at the edge of the difficult terrain. And you best believe he's going to pick up some broken woods next time and throw him at this monster. He better. All right. Absidy. Bum, 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 bum. City is going to got one more stone in their hand. Come on, money. Okay, that's not money. Um, that is a fourteen. Uh, fourteen hits. Yes. Right on um, the nose. And uh, e six plus. I don't know why I didn't remove the dice roll. E six plus three. So we're gonna do seven points of magical rock damage. Ouch. Um, actually, Chucks um, his last magic stone, and then uh, now that that thing's kind of out here fucking around, it kind of wants to find out. So, <laughs> Absidy is going to uh, bonus action wild shape and go, I said, for the house of G! And he's going to wild shape into a hot pink cow. <laughs> uh! <laughs> is it considered medium or large it is, it's medium okay okay i'll leave uh, this i'll give him a pink dot on his picture <laughs> oh oh it's large it's a large piece i'm sorry yes boom a large pink cow <laughs> i think this is the first time where it's a compliment what a cow <laughs> Stop being okay. uh and that is the, all he would do for this turn Oh, fantastic. All right, it's the monster's turn. Uh, now that uh, Lip is in front and Iwa is behind, it just shakes and uh, shoots out a tentacle each side. So first attacking Slip, it flies off. Again, he bashes it away and laughs with his mug as the second one, a nat 20, gets Iwa no! It was going to die, watch. <laughs> um, you're going to take 14 points of bludgeoning damage and a uh, strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. That's going to be a 15. It's good. 
Uh, it slaps you across the chest, uh, but you uh, just kind of turns and knocks it off of uh, their armor just in time. And it is uh, Iwa's turn. Iwa Tentacle! That's what um, I'm saying. Iwa is going to take her double swings on it again. Um, she's going to hit it with the short sword, then the scimitar. Or try to, rather. Oh, gosh. Nope. Oh, wait. Well, advantage, because... Thanks, but... Yep, it's flanked. Does it get better? Okay, well, nat 20. Oh! Uh, um, three nat 20s already. Comes back, and she comes with the short sword. She's going to do... Uh, Eight damage off bat because it's D six plus two and then uh eight plus seven fifteen damage. Now she stabs into the back Ouch. of the thing. Um that's action bonus action. She's done. Ow. <laughs> Alright, lip. Uh, the slip. Bum, bum, lip bum, the slip. Bum. Oh, I didn't move him up because he already attacked, so he's actually oh, shit. Just like oh, okay. in it. Um he's in, in it. Lip slip is going to. Oh, I'm hitting things. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Flanking with advantage. Yes. Okay. Um. Nope. Okay. Can't do anything. But cool things. I can't use my cool perks yet because this monster is so big. <laughs> um. All right. He's going to just take it with advantage. Oh my goodness. Get ready to be slipped. Uh, that's going to be a pretty sure a hit. Mm. Yep, that's a 16. Oh yeah, nice and gnarly knocketh. Slap him and he's going to come around with that flail again. This is D8. Why do I keep putting these dice up and playing with Flail him. D8 plus 3. Oh, 6 plus 3 Uh, is 9. I couldn't think of numbers. 9 points of uh, damage. Is he... Cheers is the the thing and slammed his beer into it. He's like, good shit, man. He doesn't really know he's in a fight. He just knows he's having a good time. <laughs> um, uh, and that's it for him. From the sky, you hear, oh, this is fun. And you hear also, yes, I agree. I believe someone is going to die. And that makes me happy because I'm deaf. All right, just like that. <laughs> Uh, Charlie is going to pick up a piece of wood and say, Da, motherfucker, da! And he's going to throw the wood. <gasps> this piece of wood with a nail on it that cuts little Charlie's finger. Ah! Flip to the air. <sighs> As the tentacle just <sighs> bashes it in midair. <gasps> it is now Absidy's turn. Uh, Absidy is going to... The cow. Charge at this <laughs> absidy as cow. Hello. Gonna charge at this thing. Boom. Um, and it is going to make. It is is literally making the charge attack as a cow. Difficult um, terrain so in going, that part. Yeah. It. It. it yeah. It, it would still get there it, based on size, and I just need to get to a tip of it. So I'm like, ah. gotcha. And I make contact to hit um one of these tentacle fangs, uh, and I'm gonna roll. To hit. I was like, what am I rolling? Dun 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 When I roll to I should sell the soundtrack for this show. Dun 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 Kill it! Oh, I have to make a lore attack. I see it. That's what I'm rolling for. That's right. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be a 21 to hit. Ow! It hits. And it hurts. Perfect. And so I'm going to do 3d6 plus 4 damage. Because that's a gore combo with that charge. That's how that works. I can't read. What is it? D6. All right. Two D6 from the gore and... Or two D6 from the charge and one D6 from the gore plus four. So we got uh, 11 uh, plus 15 points of uh, damage. As how that how much? Charge, 15 points Ow. of cow charging damage. Ah. Hot pink cow. Oh my gosh, you're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Scott, we came to fight! <laughs> and be sassy! <laughs> all right, uh, the monster is going to go kind of suck in almost like a muscle that just got poked and it tightens up, and it's going to shoot three tentacles out. One for Lip, one for Absy, and one for you. Uh, so I'll roll him first for Lip to slip. Finally, it makes contact. Boom, right into the chest. Strength saving throw. 
Okay. Uh, strength saving throw for a lift. Yep, and he takes nine points of damage. Uh, ish lip strong. Got a fourteen on the dice. Okay, so he is not restrained. Oh, no, actually, no, what's the plus? Uh, fourteen plus three, so 15, okay, uh, seventeen. Yeah, he is not restrained. Fourteen did not oh, cut it, but that cuts he's it. Strong. All right, so, uh, and then um, well, uh, he takes. I think it was nine. Six. Perfect. Thank yes, you. nine. And then uh, I'll roll the attack on uh, the cow. Oh, but uh, the cow utters away from it. It just like jumps up in the air a little bit, goes under, tickles it, kind of pulls back, and it misses. The third tentacle goes to you. Uh, oh, boom, right into the neck. Roll a strength saving throw. Yeah, goes Fraser. Oh, shit. And that's seven points of damage. Uh, 15 on the save, and she's still up. Seven points of damage, and a 15 is a save. Everyone saved. As the monster screams out. How does this thing look? Does it look any less vigorous than it did when we started this fight? Lots of black gooey crap has fallen off, like a lot. We love to hear black gooey crap falling. And uh, actually, after its three attacks, it's going to... Um, Use an ability to. It's going to use his movement to suck into uh, the tower, uh, but avoid uh, uh, opportunity attacks. Oh, uh, that is good. Just kind of fit perfectly into the tower. So if you're like looking at the door, it's just like its face. So what does that mean mechanically? Is it uh, is it out of range now? Is it? Um, it's out of melee range to you guys, but, um, I will say that all of this is broken off. So, like, the doorway is, like, like 10 to 12 feet long instead of, like, a three foot long doorway or whatever. Okay. So we just gotta get in front of it, and then we can launch things inside, we just can't. Yeah, or you can get to the front door and, like, attack it in melee range. But it has a 10 foot range, remember, so... Yeah, you're within so 10 we, through, we just gotta get... Okay, cool. Yeah. And it can't see you, uh... But if we're on you. this wall here, then we're, we're in, we can then hit it. Yeah. If he were to be here. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, because it's on ground level. Gotcha. Okay. Whose turn is it? Sorry, I just wanted to make it sure. It is Ua. Ua! Um... she go after... Okay, it just went, so she goes after it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ua is going to move... He's going to play it safe. Uh, she's going to run towards here to get ready for the, this fight. Stand here. Uh, bonus action, dodge action. She um, car, like starts to or write a little sigil in the air and cast uh, Blade Ward. So she's resistant mm -hmm. to melee damages for the turn. Okay. Um, and so she stands there. She's like, no, because now there's disadvantage against her. And also she's resistant to blade, melee attack that she gets hit. So she's like... <laughs> And she kind of, like, shakes up. And she's, like, standing there waiting for something to happen. Um, but she also has two hit points. So she's like... What's her armor class again? Uh, uh, 13. Okay, I just want to make sure I had it right. All right, yeah, cool, cool, 13, cool. But yeah, yeah, she's, what she's a... easy to hit. She just gets slapped a lot. <laughs> That's also, a ballsy just, bitch. <laughs> yeah, she don't care. All right. Her, it, it's okay. It, as you guys all stand there looking at this succulent monster in the doorway it's lips turn ew why'd you say it like that um ew uh lip sees it was woken up and he knows what he, he sees that she's like not doing well and he slaps her on the back and he's like he does he gives it again he's like all right we're going in this one i'll lead <laughs> and he kind of like goes by her uh he seems just slightly more sober but he does another lay on hands for the rest of it which is going to be eight hit points Ooh, nice the healer Listen, everyone's got to help, okay? Dun, 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 um, and then, dun, 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 when playing with Scott, everyone needs to be able to do something for the group. Okay? Somebody! Um, play to live. Play to live. We're smart here. Um, then I'm going to... Swing on sw swing on this thing. He's gonna, he's gonna, put, he's gonna, he's like, do this, he does that, and he kind of like, takes out his great club, and he's like, alright, let's go. Uh, and he's gonna try to hit... Gonna run up to the doorway? Yeah. All, 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 all is might and stout. 
uh, but he can't make an attack on it. But he's ready to make an attack. Oh, uh, gotcha. His action was, his action was lay on hands. <laughs> gotcha, but gotcha. All right. Uh, uh, Charlie is going to pick up another piece. Uh, 5, 10, 15, and run right here and uh, just join the group with his with his broken wall piece ready for action. Absidy okay. the cow. He's oh, he's just going to say to Absidy, let's destroy this thing. For Mama. Oh, please don't get yourself hurt. And he has he as uh, Absidy deforms out of uh, wild shape uh, and turns back into himself and says, "Please don't get yourself hurt." And stop getting hit. As he looks at uh, Iwa and casts healing word on her. Very nice. And everybody got the magics. Um, and she gets seven more points of healing. So she went from two to fourteen. And she's doing well. Er. <laughs> Uh, er. she's going she went from two to 17 between the two of them healing her okay good much better so she's she's looking a lot healthier than she was two seconds ago um and they all have advantage on uh strength saving or strength saving throws and strength checks because they're inside of this thing and you can hear the monster squealing in pain by the way mm, that sounds hot i'm going <laughs> to then wait is this a bonus hatching I want to cast magic stone, but I think it's a, oh love it. Uh, so he oh no, healing word is a bonus action. Okay, that is it. All spell management. All right, the monster screeching out in pain rah, is going to shoot from the doorway rah, into this big mass and use uh, an ability to attack everyone. Uh, he can't with Charlie because he can only do three, but attack each one individually. The first one on uh, Lip the Slip. Oh my gosh. But this, he just brings both of his mugs together and bashes the tentacle until it breaks and the gooey part falls off. Uh, it misses? Yep, it misses. The second one is going to hit uh, Iwa right on the forehead, knocking her, so she make a strength saving okay. throw. Did he swing with disadvantage? Oh, why? Because she's dodging. Took dodge action. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, it misses. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. So these tentacles swarm out like around you guys. Um, as soon as it gets close, as she holds up her dodge action, it bashes off. The third one is going to go for Absidy. And also misses through this huge attack. The monster is unsuccessful. And now, uh, all around you guys, you're swarmed around with black goo. It is Iwa's turn. Bum, 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 all right, bum, bum, bum. Iwa. She's ready to... Oh, but he's in there. So she... All around you guys. Oh, he's all around us now. Perfect, 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 perfect. She is going to, uh, bum bum bana bum ba bum ba bum 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 bana bum 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 bana bum bum. She's gonna make two attacks at it. She's gonna swing on it. Ooh. Her, um, action and bonus action. Can um, you do ooh, it? Ooh, nat twenty and a twenty-one. Oh, nat twenty. So that is okay. So these are some these are some Orgoth rolls. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling out here. I, all this advantage I'm getting. Uh, well, she's rolling with two attacks, so higher yeah. chances. But roll a twenty and a sixteen. Also, I was thinking I was like, what kind of spells? <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> I'm rolling three d six. I don't know. Come back. Let's okay, so go. <laughs> seven plus six is. Uh, 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 13. 13 plus two, 15 damage. 15 damage. Um, and then uh, that's her turn. That's attack. That's attack and bonus action. She's and she's gonna stay. She's staying in the thick of it. She ain't running for nothing yet. I'm gonna keep fighting, bitch. <laughs> oh, I ain't never gonna fight fighting. Lip the slip. I'm probably the most in gooey darkness, but enough to see, enough to attack. Uh, lip the slip. My man is going to. Let's see what this does. Um, he is going to swing again. He's got his great club out. Um, he can't get any sort of advantage, sadly. Come on. Hi, rolls. Use your right dice. Come on. Bum, bum, ba, na, bum, 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 bum. 
a seven. A seven? No, I missy, missy. I, it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, Charlie says, I gotta do everything myself. And throws a piece of Charlie wood out. This piece of wood flies right at the monster's face. The monster opens its mouth, catches it in the wood, shatters. Charlie pees his pants. It is Absidy's turn. No. <laughs> Some hero. Maybe he will. Who knows? Absidy, uh, human form, is going to... Hmm. Uh, no, he's going to go... Uh, you know what? It's getting a little dark in here, and I don't like the dark mummy. And he's going to uh, start to, as he says mummy, he starts to cast a spell in his hands. He starts to form this little ball of fire, and he throws it up in the air a little bit, and he, class, he casts the flaming sphere. Ooh! Um, and he's going to make a big fireball, and he's going to fling it. He's going to shoot it towards the top part of this giant creature that is on him. He's like, he's kind of shooting a fireball through it, trying to get it to sit, ideally on top of, you know, the, its head. Um, but it's going to do... It's a dexterity saving throw on its part. Dexterity saving throw. Ooh. It's an 11. Perfect. He's going to take 26 fire damage. Oh, boy. Um, it takes 7 points of fire damage. Um, yep. And it's not as dark in here anymore. <laughs> yeah, it bursts in his face and lights up this area. You can see clearly your friends around you. He's holding up this, this and it stays in its concentration, so he's holding up this fireball. Uh, the monster is going to <laughs> look down and bring its head down for a bite. Oh, that's a huge bite right onto the shoulders. Its big fangs dig into the attacking. Uh, Absidy. Um, can I? Ooh, is it a really high roll? Can I try to beat it? It it's uh it's not above a twenty, I'll tell you uh, that. All right, so lip the slip is gonna finally I can do a thing for my subclass. Lip the slip uh, is gonna um channel some of his energy from his uh, yeah. uh oh the friendship because he has two of his family members or fr friends around him which are um the other two party members. Um, he can add plus five to their AC by removing two from his AC, so he ups her AC to, or his. He ups Absidy's AC to 21 and downs his AC to 16. So as his head comes down, these Not fangs start to cut into the back. Absidy <laughs> flinches their muscles. It breaks the fangs off, snaps them. Absidy over flexing and Lip is like holding this arcane energy. <laughs> oh, and it misses and it turns over. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and it got to hold concentration because I didn't get attacked. Look at that tape, man. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ilma is going to. Uh, um, what is she going to do? Let's see. She's going to keep her two attacks. She's going to keep stabbing at this thing. It seems to be going well for her. <laughs> two 18s, which are good rolls. They're yes, pretty dang good. <laughs> Me sadly, and I'm just like, there's not 20s. <laughs> um,. So I'm doing uh, five plus six, 11 damage. Stab, stab. Oh, as it stabs, stabs, ah, screeches out the pain. It starts to pop, 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 pop. It starts to suck into this little wall. And black goo shoots everywhere. In its place is a little... Charlie Duggins. Ah, the little black goo runs out of his nose and mouth. Ah, what, what, what happened? From by, you stand before you, a little Charlie Duggins. And then back where it was, little Charlie Duggins. The Charlie who was there before stands up. Ah, it's a trick! It kill him! It's a trick! Please. Uh, that's what the the one that we were running working with says. Yep. Uh, I think that Lip is going to approach the one we're fighting, and <laughs> Iwa is going to full on dash grapple bonus action dash action grapple up the small one. So ah! she's like, she's like, uh, Charlie, it's a fuck shit going on. <laughs> ah, he tries to run away, but uh, you've got well, I'll try to roll a strength saving throw. Oh shit, he got an eighteen. 
Oh no. <laughs> he got an 18. He might slip the gip. I don't think she got a lot of strength. Huh? Okay, that was a five. Okay, oh, five you try to grapple onto him, but he runs out of I'm your hands. Out of those black and he's uh, he's running, running towards his door. Dad, dad. He's dashing. Uh, I'll keep turn order if you're gonna try to engage on this. Uh, is that it? Uh, she will keep following. Uh, well, she can't keep following, but uh, uh, Absidy will also keep follow because she's gonna be like, "The fuck going on here?" Uh huh. Um. That's it, yeah. So he, he's trying to commandeer this guy back here. Absidy is following to clarify the situation, and it was mad. Uh, trying to grapple him again? Absidy's trying to grapple him? Or... Uh, he's not going to grapple. He's just going to follow. He's just, like, running into the house to be like, don't listen to the lies! <laughs> All right, Al, as you're following... Do you have twins? <laughs> little Charlie runs in and says, Dad, Dad, the monster's here, and it's pretending to be me! What?! As he gets all up in arms, coming outside with you guys. As you're like, he's a liar! He's a liar! Move out of the way! And he runs uh, out. Do you have twins? No, we don't have twins! Problem, then. And I kind of look over and point towards the other Charlie that's being grappled. <laughs> um, uh, the one that Lip has got. And he's like, yeah. oh, what's going on? I don't feel so good. Oh, uh, so that one came out of the giant ooze monster that attacked us, and then this one was, you know, here all day, so I'm not sure how you want to handle your problem here, but the <gasps> monsters are gone, so we will take payment. Uh, Lagan just looks over. <sighs> Charlie? And the one right beside him is like, It's a monster, Dad! He impersonates other people! You you have to kill him! Quick! Quick! Oh, my boy! And, you, and the other Charlie uh, has got, like, black goo, like, all over him. Almost like someone just threw black jelly at him. And see? He's can covered I, in it! Can I, can I insight check that Charlie who's saying a lot of things that I don't think he should know? Uh, 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 uh sure. It's tricky because like, you don't really know Charlie. Yeah, so I'm just trying like to see if, I, if if it seems like he's lying because he's like talking about. Sure. If, well, if I think that he would know that he's like he's like oh it's impersonating this thing is like you know a lot about what this thing is for a guy who didn't know about this thing. <laughs> and you're sus now. <laughs> I'm on to you. Um, who, who am I? Uh, what am I rolling? Insight. Okay. Who am I? Are you rolling as Absidy? Um, yes, and it wasn't good. It was an uh, uh, 11. Yeah, you don't really know Charlie that well, so maybe it's sus, but you can't really tell. He says, uh, uh Logan says, oh, if you say that monster came out of there and attacked my boy, then I have no choice. And he pulls out this axe from behind his back. Step back! Let me finish this monster. Well, I have a question for you, sir. Just a slight perplexion that I just leave in your hands after I state it. Mm -hmm. I would just like to propose to you that the child you see before you covered in muck is in fact your son and the boy you see behind you is trying to convince you that he is not your son so that if you kill him, removing the evidence of his crime, which is impersonating your actual son because he is in fact a shapeshifter. And I point at the little boy who's uh, like the one that's been trying to help us and I'm like, you sir are fraud, aren't you? Admit it! <laughs> Uh, and I uh, cast Charm Person on him. <laughs> oh, the one that's in front of Okay, so what does he need to roll? A wisdom saving throw. I don't trust this kid, Scott. 14? I hope it's a fail. I gotta look at my thing. 14? <laughs> I don't know. It's a pretty high one for a level 3. 13 is a DC. <laughs> roller, God, hey, here. roller Persuasion <laughs> as you're yelling to Logan. Okay, okay. The right dice out here is uh 18 19 i can't count he says it's mm. uh, a, a pretty smart point you make the other charlie runs over uh, dad no don't listen i promise i'm the real one i'm the real one remember yesterday when when we we planted all the crops and you told me how much better i got it well, well that's right uh, a monster would never know that. And the other one said, But I, you would know that I'm so bad at planting crops. Uh, that's true. And you did just say that he got better yesterday, which is again suspect. So suspect. Uh, 
I don't know which one is my real son. <sighs> uh, then I'll make an insight check. Gives him a hernia. He's like, sorry. <laughs> oh, he rolled a five. <sighs> uh, the one on uh, the one on the ground says, oh, "Father, please help me up. I don't feel good." And he looks down. And he goes, "My boy." My boy would never ask his father to help him up. One of his favorite things is standing up by himself. And the little boy in the ground says, Yes, but I'm just really hurt right now. And he goes, Not on my watch! And he takes this big axe and swings it down. <laughs> and splits the skull of the little boy. Ugh. I can't watch, even if it's a fake boy. And the little boy's dead. And the one beside him grabs on the one that's not covered in goo. Thank you, Father. I knew you would believe me. I would know my boy anywhere. Well, thank you, adventurers. I guess I... I... them built to be safe. Ha <laughs> ha Hilarious. Here you go. He's going to reach in his pocket and throw a coin purse at you guys and throw you 45 gold pieces. And he's going to say... Without you, I never would have rescued my boy. And the little Charlie looks at you guys and says, I have much to thank you for. And his eyes are going to light up black. And you hear from the sky. I knew it. They hear from the sky. <laughs> so we've seen them kill a monster. Seems kind of boring after everything you've told me you've seen. It's not about killing that monster. I wanted them to save that little boy. Why? All will be clear on episode two. Episode two of what? Summer Song's Guide to Silverdale, presented on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody for watching episode one of Summer Song's Guide to Silverdale. I'm your Game Master, Scott Nichols, and this is Michael Jackson. Dude, good oh. job on playing three characters. We will see everybody hey, I live. I'm happy. next <laughs> time. For episode two, uh, any closing remarks, MJ the Magnificent? Um, so we killed the one that I didn't want to kill, right? And then I was right that it was a demon. Okay, also the rolls just weren't there. The we were rolls like, were not roll there. It? it was like four, three, two. And I was like, well, <laughs> I used my nat 20, so there goes that. But hey, they got paid, so it worked out. <laughs> yep, you got paid. We'll see everybody too as we hurl through time once again and see where we land. Uh, good night. Goodbye.